What's up, God? <clears throat> this is a Twin Flame reading for September 27th. Today is the 26th. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, and you may not necessarily resonate with it immediately. It could be a warning for the future, a guidance for the future, near future, hopefully. Um, I can't imagine that these readings will go too far ahead because Spirit is delivering these messages at this time for a reason. And it's usually for guidance, leadership, and motivation and inspiration. Um, yeah, so take it as it resonates, as it pertains to content, and as it pertains to sign time. I just washed my hair and the other yesterday. And this side is blow dry less than this side, so y'all gonna have to take it, take me as I am today. Um, what else do we have? Today's energy was brought to you by today's reading was brought to you by ashleygeller.com visit my website i'll put it down there a-s-h-l-e-y-g-u-i-l-l-a-r-d.com and you will be able to purchase a reading purchase god apparel purchase my books and i have some new things coming soon on there as well i'm very excited i'm putting energy into my spiritual brand you know, it's closely related to my mission. So put in more energy and products and create new products for that as well. So check me out, ashleygiller.com. Okay, so what messages have you guys been getting from Spirit? I've been getting things are coming, things are coming, things are manifesting. It's going to be so big. It's going to be quick. It's going to change your life like that. Um Masculine energies are going to come to you. You're going to have multiple offers. I'm getting um, be patient, though. Stay out of the energy of desperation so that you won't block your blessings. And I just feel like I'm about to be really busy because it's like things are opening. Things are opening doors like doors are opening for example like my son being in a youth program my son basketball so it's like instead of dropping him off at a certain time and having to find a you know and having to get him by a certain time it's like that time frame now it's like a it's a longer window of opportunity so it's like what's about to happen i feel like that's showing me that i'm, I'm about to get busy it's opening a door so that when i do get busy I'll still be able to properly, you know, take care of my son. So, um, what other messages am I getting? I've been seeing signs and synchronicities. 888-444-666. Lots and lots of signs and synchronicities. Um, so, Spirit has been saying get over this hump. Page of Wands. Hey, two pages. Yes. New beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings. Pages are all about new beginnings, actually manifesting. And so it could be like a, the beginning of a new cycle or um, or things may just start to manifest. And I don't know who I'm reading for at this moment, but I'll just say that I'm reading for masculine and feminine um, at this time because these cards just randomly came out. Man, I really, I got my hair done. These braids have been very, been doing wonders for my hair. I, I got, I put a relaxer in my head and then I've been getting braids. I haven't had one in a few months. So the new growth is, it's real dry though. I need to drink more water. Anyway, I just messed it up. It's already messed up. So anyway, we got the page of swords and we have the page of wands. Passionate new beginnings. Um, but what I'm also getting is a change in how things are manifesting. It's like inaction turns into fighting. It's like it goes from not talking to someone for a while to festering these emotions, festering these um, feelings and emotions towards something, and then exploding because you didn't let it out. So to start this period of new beginnings it may even start with it might start with an argument i hope that i don't want to resonate with that do not come with me with no argument i got stuff to do i'm trying to be booked and busy i ain't trying to be arguing with nobody <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> so yeah so we can expect some communication to come through um that somebody has been holding in for a while 
do not fester not negative energy and bring it towards me because you couldn't open your mouth and we couldn't talk about it. But it looks like it's going to be an argument that starts or opens the door for communication. So, ooh. Yo. I might, should I, should I say this or should I let it come out? Okay. Now we have the judgment in the Knight of Cups. So maybe a karmic is going to judge judge you. This is going to be actual judgment as, about an offer that you receive. So, okay. So there's these emotions festering, these this feelings, this intense passion festering in somebody that they're holding in. And then finally it's going to all come out, but it's going to be anger that's coming out because they didn't speak up for themselves before. Excuse me. <laughs> it's like um having feelings for somebody or being passionate about something here but not telling them and then it all coming out at one time anger though it's like you're mad why are you mad because an offer comes in and and the karmic or this person is judging you or you're judging this person because of this offer that comes in but if you held in your emotions and you didn't come towards or didn't express yourself until after another offer is made that's on you ain't nobody got it we too grown for that we are way too grown to be for that yep then we have nine of swords and a page of pentacles. We got three pages. My other reading is about to go down. I think I said it really is three pages. It's really a new cycle. It's, I feel like we're in the new cycle right now. I feel like we're either in it or being prepped for it. It's, it's, you'll know when it comes because certain things in your life will start to change. Things will start to work better. Uh, miracles may even manifest. But when this happened, this is three pages. It's definitely new beginnings on the horizon. But the beginning, it may start out a little rough because somebody's going to give you a hard time about an offer. And it's a stable offer. And you know it's a firm commitment. And you know it's an offer that's that's firm. Uh, you know, this new beginning is not flaky. It's a firm offer and it's giving you anxiety. Probably because this fucking idiot right here who was festering their emotions and didn't say nothing coming out all angry at you because they're judging you about this situation. Maybe it's the person that um, come forth with the offer that's making them so mad. But it's giving the feminine anxiety. I feel like this is the feminine and I believe, I feel like it's a karmic or a person that's close to the feminine that's going to judge them. I guess I'll take it. Regarding this offer. That's why the feminine, okay, so my readings, the feminine gets multiple offers and the feminine doesn't know what to do because, um, yeah, the feminine doesn't know what to do. But now we know in the background, in the feminine's background, there's someone in her ear that's really angry about this offer and judging her. Um, then we have two of pentacles, the sun and the five of wands. I feel like a part of it as well, this is why I feel like it's a karmic. It could be someone you have kids with. I think the issue is, and the conflict will be regarding a son. And I have a son, so I'm trying not to resonate with this reading. Oh, shit. So, but it could be in regards to a son. It could be your sick, you know, someone you used to be with a karmic who you had kids with giving you issues because of a son giving you issues or using the sun as an excuse. And so it's making the decision hard for the feminine. It's not an easy decision because the decision not only affects the feminine's life, it affects her son's life too or her children's life too. So we got this passionate, um, we have this offer of love, this cup of love coming towards the feminine that's being judged by whoever this is, this karmic. And it's causing a feminine anxiety, not because he's an asshole, he or she's an asshole, but also because they have a child together. So it makes the decision even harder. Child, I feel like going through my... <laughs> this stuff, this is crazy. Um, strength. Lovers. 
the Hermit wanted to come out too. What was it? And the Empress. Okay. Um. Hmm. Interesting. I think the strength is just remaining in your power, standing in your power, and um, being strong throughout the situation. You know, it's seeing it through, regardless of what's happening in the background. Following through. Following the light. Seeing the path through, regardless of what's happening in the background. Balancing and coming together with your masculine and feminine energy, regardless of what is happening in the background of life. And then we have the inference. Could just be creating. Could just be creating. But it's like... You know, following the light, seeing the pathway through, and for some reason I'm seeing this cross here. I've never really paid attention to that. It's like in a heart. It's like a heart and a circle and cross in it. But it looks like a stethoscope. But it's like um, following your heart, seeing the pathway through, regardless of what's happening in the background. Regardless of what this karmic a person is in your ear hollering about it's like seeing it through because it's what's meant to be seeing this commitment through seeing this partnership through seeing this you know path through and for our eight of pentacles hmm Working towards commitment. Working towards a solid foundation in your life. Working towards, you know, working towards your goals. But also just working towards completion of this cycle. Working towards completion of this spiritual journey. And working towards completion of this partnership. And coming together with your masculine energy, feminine energy. So I think I'm going to stop on this deck. Um, and we're going to stop at seven of wands on the bottom of the deck. Stand your ground. These people think they could just come in our lives. And for some reason, a ten of um, cups want to show itself as well. Yeah, stand your ground. It's like fulfillment is on the line. It's right under there, two ace of cups. Fulfillment is on the line. You know, self-fulfillment. Fulfillment in your family. Fulfillment in life. You have to stand your ground. You can't let karmics, you can't let people get in the way of your happiness. Get in the way of the completion of your spiritual journey and the dualities within yourself as well. We all did this for a reason. We took this journey for a reason. Those of us um, who are really on spiritual twin flame journeys, and when I say twin flame journeys, you know, it starts with you and your individual spiritual journey to become one with God, to be to stand in your power, to access your power, to know who you are, and to liberate yourself and others. It was for a reason. So don't let someone else's emotions or someone else's um, issues get in the way of you completing your cycle. Before I start on this other deck, something is telling me to pull from this chakra wisdom oracle deck. Crazy. It's crazy how things work. But yeah, guys, I just feel like I'm about to get busy. My life is about to get busy, 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 busy. Anyway, something was trying to show itself. We got impasse. We got creation. I think this is just saying wild things are manifesting. Focus on your creations. Focus on. Uh, ooh, I have to read this. It says, Am I waiting for someone's permission to create my life? What do I need to see in order to claim my own gifts? I think this is saying it's your decision. It's not someone else's decision. Claiming your life 
it's all on you. The decisions you make, it's all on you. Don't let someone else Yes, let me read more of what it says. Letting go of old ideas and allowing new growth are primary now. The mission you have made the mission you have been on may be complete. A new dawn is coming, and it is time to open yourself to divine inspiration. The message here is let go. You no longer need to be the warrior. Yeah, so again, we got three pages here, so we knew it was new beginnings, we knew it was a new cycle. We knew completion of you know the old. But so don't let this person from your past or your karmic or whoever it is could even be still in your life don't let this person get in the way of the new it's time to release the old habits stop letting them get in the way of the real you let's look at impasse because i was thinking impasse is just like you know while we're in this rating period to start just creating and it could be that too but let me see impasse Ooh, shit. It's saying, how adaptable are you? Oh, man, guys, it's going to be some change we have to adapt to. We're going to have to release something, let go of something. Sometimes we let people control our lives or we, you know, we allow them to stagnate our future because it's like... It's hard to change. It's hard. It's hard to let go of the old and then start embracing the new. It's like the old, karmics or not, whether the old is good for you or not, it's predictable. You know this person. You know how they act. You know what, you know, grinds their gears. You know, you just know them. So it's comfortable, regardless of it, regardless of it's, you know, a good connection or a challenging one. It's comfortable because you you know what to expect. You know, you it's just what has always been. But Spirit is saying, don't let what's always been get in the way with how it's supposed to be now. Don't let the past get in the way of your future. Persevere. Is now on the bottom of the deck. Persevere. Man, man, man. Persevere. Mm-mm-mm. Focus on that which supports you. Get back on track. All right, feminine, don't let whatever this is, don't let it get you off track. Don't let it get you off track. Child, this hair of mine. I've been um taking hair vitamins, using this stuff. I think it's. I forgot what it's called, um, but it's been really good for my scalp. It's been really good for my hair and the knotless braids, even though they only last three weeks. It's been really good with my hair, bringing it back to health, keeping the heat off of it too much. You know, not too much. I blow dry it once a month, so, but keeping too much heat off of it. And it's been doing really good. I need to um, do something with it now, but that whole ends clip and shit was a lie you don't my thing is my hairstylist or different hairstylists say oh bring your back i bring people with health hair back to health but you really just cut it so you really didn't put no work in if you if you're just cutting off the damage cutting off the damage or cutting off the ends split ends or whatever you want to call it it's not nursing people's hair back to health and I don't have to cut my ends for my hair to grow. One, my hair grows from my scalp. And the ingredients in which my hair grows from stems from what I put in my body. And, you know, what protrudes from my head, what protrudes from my scalp, what stimulates my follicles. And cutting the ends is not what does that. It, it comes from what you eat. It comes from your activities. It comes from what you put in your body. Anyway, I don't know why I just went off a scene on, on that Sometimes I just ir get irritated. It's like cutting people hair. And it's okay to cut your hair if you want to. But to cut your hair because somebody told you that's what you're supposed to do. I just really think some of this stuff is setting us up for failure. We love long hair. And black women are the only ones taught that in order for your hair to grow and flourish, you have to cut it. Makes no sense to me. If our hair is our glory, we should protect it against fault. Falsities. Anyway, we have 
Ooh. Let me show y'all. So I pulled this from the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. Guess what was next? The, the, the Ten Tarot and Wheel of Fortune. So this change feels like a burden. This change, whether fortunate or not, it feels like a burden. So right now I've been, or lately I've been in the energy of really ready for things, wanting, wanting things to manifest. But now I'm realizing that, okay, yes, but abundance is coming. Yes, blessings are coming. But it's going to change my life so much. Like, I'm so relaxed right now. I'm going to be super busy, which could be a burden. Responsibility is a burden. We love it, but it's still a burden. But I'm ready. I don't mind being busy. But then it's these changes and decisions that's happening, that's going to happen, that's going to also be some sort of a burden as well. So it might be hurtful. Um, not hurtful, but clearly this situation won't be ideal for me. It's going to be change, and I have to embrace this change and trust this change and, and accept these new beginnings. But it's like, maybe I should enjoy my time now instead of crying about it because I'm not going to get it back. This time, I'm not going to get it back. The relationships, the way they are right now, I may not get them back the way they are right now. A lot of them will flourish and become better, but... Clearly, there's going to be a karmic that I'm not going to be as close with anymore. Or someone in my life or your life, we might not be as close with anymore. So it's like embrace the time now. Enjoy your life now. Take everything one day at a time. Because when it changed, there's no going back. So I'm, I'm very happy and grateful. And I'm just going to put it out there to Spirit, Universe, God. I'm very grateful with the way my life is right now. I'm very happy and I'm very blessed. And I'm well taken care of. Anyway, y'all know I'll be going off on tangents. We also have the Temperance, the King of Swords, the World, um, and the World. Okay. So when things have, things are coming full circle, we are, I don't know if it's going to be tonight, tomorrow, in the hour, in the minute. Like, it's really coming. So I think as things come full circle and we start having to make these tough decisions, Spirit is just saying, again, remain calm, remain in peace. Don't lose your head as you're as you're making these decisions, um, much needed and very important decisions. Keep calm. Remain at peace. You know, um, stay in faith. Do the best thing for you and know that everything is going to work out. We have the three of pentacles that wanted to show itself. It's like your guides are with you. God, you know, your angels are with you. God is with you. God is in you. You can do this. Oh, yeah. Definitely just regardless of what hardships I'm facing because I started my store. You know, I started my store and, you know, when you start a business, it's like my funds are all allocated. To, I, I don't see clear funds, period, this year. And it's, you know, that's October, November, December. And that's unless something, if something breaks through, then of course. But if, you know, if things remain as it pertains to finance, if things remain the way that it is between now and the end of the year, it's like my funds are tied up. And that's what's been keeping me off balance and keeping me in anxiety and worry and, and disappointment because my birthday. And I'm just tired of this energy. But I, I'm the one who started my business. And I knew that it would take investments. So, and I knew that I had no one but me. So I kind of put myself in this situation, but you know, spirit has been telling me like, you're going to get justice. It's going to be okay. Like you'll get what you put in, you put into your business and more relax. That's what spirit has been saying. And now I'm just going to relax because when things start changing for us, we're not going to get this time back. Ciao. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Just imagine. Just imagine, like, my life. Single. Only have to worry about me and my son. Barely have to worry about my son. He, he's almost 13. Takes care of himself. Really, if I don't want to cook, he, he'll find something in there and cook for himself. <laughs> it's just so simple. My life. So simple, so peaceful, so calm, unless I get myself out of this energy. You know, I could go to the gym tomorrow if I wanted to. And, you know, there is no job, even though I probably need to start looking for one. Probably not. I'm trusting the energies. Remember, we're not doubting anymore. But anyway, it's just, it's just so, it's, it's good. 
And then boom, this offer comes. Hey, we need to get married. We got work to do. Spirit, we got work to do. And then it goes from there. It's abundance, it's blessings, it's marriage offers, it, it is someone close to you being really upset about it. So it goes from an energy of peace to an energy of transformation. And transformation is sometimes it is not peaceful. Sometimes transformation is towery. It's it's emotional. But spirit is telling us to remain silent, remain in the energy of peace. When this transformation occurs, when these new beginnings occurs, regardless of who around you, regardless of some whatever's going on, but and also don't let anybody hold you back. I think judgment was just trying to come out again. Don't let the old keep you from the new. We're not letting old baggage keep us from the new anymore. We're remaining solid. What is oh yes 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 okay so let me get them. so we have the magus we have the empress and we have the chariot masculine energies here even the empress has the level of masculine in her because she's manifesting she's bearing things from spirit to um physical reality from inspiration to physical reality from the spirit realm our ideas and inspiration comes from the spirit realm manifesting into the physical reality so it's like your creations things that you're manifesting and creating are moving forward quickly and then the three of wands with the new bottom of the deck here it's like going like without a dip without a hitch manifesting without a hitch so I gotta create some more stuff. That's why did I didn't say that at the beginning of this reading. It's time for me to focus on my spiritual brain and start creating, uh, you know, putting things out. And I, I've already started, so. But it's like things manifesting and moving forward as it pertains to your creations without a hitch. Let me keep pulling. Dang, that's crazy. This reading was more so about the feminine's life, new beginnings. Um. McCormick holding the feminine back. You know what? I'll take these. Um, and it was less about the masculine. The only thing they talked about with the masculine was the offer. But we have the justice card and we have the ten of pentacles right under there entering a new phase of life. That is more just for you. That's more equal give and take for you. That's it's, it's more, it's pleasing. And it could also tune to Libra season because we have the Queen of Swords showing herself as well. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. We got another page, guys. We got another two pages. New beginnings in love, new beginnings in career. Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles. New beginnings in love, new beginnings in career. More abundant. More abundant beginnings. In love and career. Everything working out for the feminine. Yep. New beginnings in love and career. Happening now. It's Libra season. Happening now. I'm not getting the energy of disappointment. And if you guys just want me to clarify that, I will. Where's my clarifying deck? Which one should I use? Um... See what comes. I'm gonna use these playing cards. I had a dream that I did a reading for someone who had money. So someone asked me to do a reading for her because someone is stealing money from her, and I did a reading. Spirit really didn't talk about it. Spirit told her to reevaluate her family situation that she had going on, and um, could be related though. And so, anyway, in a dream, I did a. It was this, this woman, actually, the black woman that was asking me to do. The reading for her because someone was stealing her but spirit was clarifying this three of swords but in my dream it was a white woman who came to me and she was with a group of people and she was saying that someone was stealing from her and i did a reading for her and for some reason this after i did a reading i did a reading with, with playing cards and i said the spirit was like do it with playing cards 
Oh shit. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So spirit did clarify that. So I guess it's more than Libra season. This three of swords is a twenty-two because what came out is the eight of swords and the two of swords, and we know the eight of swords is being trapped, and we know the two of swords is a decision. So we have new beginnings and masculine and feminine energy. These are manifesting because you manifested this by becoming one with your mirror self, your shadow self. Um, however, some things are going to have to be left behind and it may be a bit disappointing for you. So it's like disappointment, but also new beginnings. So, you know, sometimes the disappointment comes from leaving things behind. And it's probably this disappointment because of this person giving you a hard time who went from festering and holding in their emotions to all of a sudden blowing up because finally you have new beginnings and finally you have offers and finally they're being left behind. So it's definitely disappointment as well. Again, so I'm just going to enjoy my time now. Do you have anything more on the spirit? Did I saw how it just dropped out of my hand when I said that? Two of cups. It's about to go down. Right under that two of cups was um three of swords. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. We got love coming in. We got love coming in. King and a queen of cups. Listen, 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 Linda, listen. I love this. We got Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. New, new passionate beginnings. Um, new, new, you know, having feelings and new beginnings, but also um, feelings festering and, and feelings coming together with a divine partnership. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> and with the joke with the knight of pentacles the j and the diamond is the knight of pentacles it's like things coming together uh, working on a partnership working on this passion and new beginnings with your soulmate your twin flame mm -mm -mm. that's gonna hurt somebody's feelings anyway i'm gonna leave it at that because should I leave it at that spirit? I think I'm leaving it at that. Should I get one more? Let's see what energy card we get because we need inspiration. I feel like we need inspiration. Guys, I've been sending out gym body orders. Oh my gosh. Guess what was on the bottom of the deck? Man holding the heart. Huh? They're so pretty. I just love, I love, I wore it in my video yesterday. But, gym body and progress. I love this. Like, I cannot wait to work out in my gym body hoodie. This is my sister's. I have to send this to her, but put it back in the box. I have to, that's what I'm doing after this reading. I'm going to package, package my orders. But, guys. It's definitely about to change. Everything is about to change. But we have to be ready for it. I'm sorry if I've been so um, low energy in this reading, but I'm feeling peaceful and calm, kind of. Oh, I can't wait to clean them cards. They're just everywhere. 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 What is coming? We'll take it. Ooh, ooh, mm, 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 mm. New bottom of the deck, Blossoming Abundance. So we know Blossoming Abundance is coming in. We know that. Ooh, right in there, Carrying Connection. Mm. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Guess what's under there? So we got Blossoming Abundance and we have Carrying Connections, right? Envy. Right under there is a strength card. And we know that came out. Well, this person is going to be jealous. Somebody's going to be jealous, but that's too bad. Carrying connection, block fitting abundance. But we have, again, feeling all tied up, but having to take action. Regardless of what's going on, regardless of who's jealous, regardless of who's giving you a hard time. 
You have to take action. You, you can't be in this energy of being all tied up. Fork Chakra, Archangel Raphael. Let's read uh, what Raphael has to say. Love, compassion, and self-acceptance. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This card upright indicates you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart has taken place. That could be the three of swords too. Healing from a broken heart. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassion and self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people in situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. Yeah, you're going to get more love. I, I have this running joke. That I wonder if this love that spirit um, is saying that I'm about to get is all these damn love bugs all over me. Because these damn love bugs are all over me. It's so annoying. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll just leave it at that. Um... Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. You guys know I like to give shout outs if you're still here. Um, at the end of my reading, we have a few comments um, to shout out. I've been getting more views and likes on my videos. I'm excited. Thank you, Deja Kelly, for saying that I have a great reading. Thank you, Rock Coleman. Pat KM, thank you so much for your comment as well. Strawberry1050, you always comment. I'm really, really grateful for you. But anyway, thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I um, am very appreciative of you. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.